Hey guys, this is going to be a review and test of the HO scale via rail F40PH-2D in the rebuilt or renaissance paint scheme by Rapido Trains Inc. The model we're looking at today came factory equipped with DCC and ESU lock sound. It's in the renaissance paint scheme, but this is the unnumbered variation of it. So the road numbers, the number boards, and the road numbers on the back of the unit are water slide decals on this model and they were installed by me so so there will be some slight differences with the factory road number models that had the road numbers actually painted on versus my model here that uh, I did water slide decals on so first thing we'll do is take a look at what comes in the box I got a brand new one here that hasn't been opened so we'll open it up take a look inside Get the manual here. Kind of cool. It looks like an actual EMD ma manual. Got a set of water slide decals because remember this is the unnumbered version, which is cool. I always like this about Rapido when they do these unnumbered ones. You get every road number possible. You could do the entire fleet, and every model comes with a full set. So it's really cool if you mess one up and you have two. You've got duplicate uh, decals in case one gets messed up. Parts diagram, some advertising stuff. So that's what's included in the box. There's no extra detail parts or anything with these guys. I think they've got everything on it because it's a the modern variation. Just the uh, extra decals if you ordered these unnumbered versions. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is take a look at some of the detail up close on this model. Starting with the uh, front end first. One thing about Rapido is they always go the extra mile and do the underbody of the models as well. So there's a whole bunch of stuff underneath. Take a quick look at that.
Okay, so that gives you a good idea of the slow speed, which is absolutely fantastic on these models as well. Let's put it on the weigh scale and see how much it weighs. So the model weighs in at 473 grams, 16.7 ounces. That's pretty much identical to the last run they did with the original paint scheme in Via Rail. Those were 476 grams, so it doesn't seem like they've made any major changes to the uh, chassis or the drive frame on this one. Now that we've weighed it, let's hook it up to the push-pull meter and see how much this model can push and pull. Okay, so just like all the other review and tests, we'll, we'll test it three times and then take the average. Ninety five grams on the first one. Ninety five grams again. Ninety five grams all three times, so it's safe to say we can pull ninety five grams with this locomotive. Same, 95. 95 again. And 95, so same push-pulling uh, capabilities, both forwards and reverse. So here's the functions listed in the manual. We can, uh, we'll go on track level and have a listen here. We'll just cycle through some of these sounds. So we already heard the prime mover quite a bit, but we'll just kind of go through some of these other ones here. So, with the bell. So the horn, which also activates the bell, which I think is prototypical, I'm pretty sure. I get a Doppler horn and F3. So F5, something really cool about these rebuilds is they have an additional what they call HEP power. It's just basically a separate electric diesel electric generator in the back end in this cabinet here and uh, F5 starts that and prototypically they run all the time because this is what provides the power for the coaches. Sounds pretty cool. So that's a pretty neat sound file. Next sound is F11, which is a fast Doppler horn. So they get another one of these. In case you're doing 90 miles an hour on your layout. F12 is a Hostler mode. Not sure what that is. Switching mode. F15 is the emergency horn. And 24 is a break. So that's just a quick breakdown of the sounds that are included with the stock settings on this model. Let's take a look at the lighting now. They've got step lights on the on the engineer and conductor side on the front, which is really cool. And those are just those just come on with track power. So they the number boards are on their own function, which is cool. They're on F19. This model is also unique in that it has the, uh, so it's got ditch lights, which are a separate function as well. 
Those are on F6. Nice and bright. I like how they slowly turn off too, that's cool. Headlights are on zero, like all like most models. And this model is really well lit too. I really like the color of the LEDs they used. Nice and bright. We've also got a Xenon headlight, which is a Via has this, they added it, it's a super bright headlight. So that's on F10. That's the third light on the bottom there. And in addition to all that, you've also got a strobe light on F9. According to the manual, it's not used very often. The strobe light only turns on when there's a problem with the prime mover, so it's not really something that you'd use, but they've included it, which is pretty neat. So on the rear of the unit, just like the prototype, we've got the single rear headlight, and that's activated by hitting F12, which is Hostler mode. So that'll wrap up this review and test, guys. Really, it's what we've come to expect from Rapido Trains Inc. These, uh, their models are super detailed. The drivetrain's great on them. They use ESU lock sound decoders, so the sound is paired up with the operation. It, like, they're just fantastic all around. All roads, road name specific detail for via rail. And this is like, probably not one of the easier models to do because it's got a lot of stuff on it. You know, like the AC unit, uh, double horns, strobe light. It pulls really good. 95 grams is great for a four axle unit. So for the overall weight, 473 grams, it's actually pretty good for a shorter four axle locomotive. Comparing this to like another four axle on the market, say like the Atherin Genesis GP40, the CN, it can pull, it can out pull it by 20 grams. So that's saying something um, between the weight and the, the programming and the ESU Loke Sound decoder. Sound, great sounding recordings again by ESU Loke Sound. I mean, we heard that uh, the HEP startup and shut down, that sounds awesome. That sounds just like a diesel engine, which is really cool. So finally in the lighting category, this thing's awesome. Like, they really had to go above and beyond with this model because the prototype has so many lighting features on it. And the fact that they have they have a separate function for each feature is really cool too. So you mean you got the step lights that come on with track power, then you got a separate function for ditch lights, headlights, the xenon light, the number boards, and the strobe. Another one if you include the backlight when you press uh, hostling mode. So this thing is phenomenal. The lighting is, is really, really well done. And I am really picky about lighting and I think the headlights and all everything looks great on it. I like the color of them. Everything looks awesome. So, so overall I give this locomotive a 9.2 out of 10 which is incredible. I mean these guys are, are doing great work. I'm really happy with mine. I'm looking forward to putting the road numbers on the other two that I got and lashing them all together and pulling a big Canadian. I think it's going to look fantastic. So that'll wrap up this review and test, guys. I'll put a bunch more information in the video info, like uh, MSRP and the release date, announcement date, all that stuff. So if you want to have a look at that, it's in the video info. I hope you found the video helpful. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.